spent the last couple of years teaching you guys editing tricks, how to create videos in a fast, easy, and fun way. Well, today we're gonna talk about easy projects that can make you money fast. I don't wanna talk about broad subjects like create a music video, do this, do that. I wanna talk about niche things you can do that don't take that long, but are still in high need of clients. So I recommend you write these things down, gather some ideas you like, and if you guys are freelancers or interested in doing this to make some side money, make up fair prices for these services and list them on your website. So let's get started. Today's video is sponsored by Storyblocks. As filmmakers and editors, you guys know how important storytelling is when it comes to crafting your visual. Storyblocks is an amazing resource that can streamline your creative process and help you tell your story. Storyblocks has a giant library of stock footage, but that's not all. They also provide After Effects templates, audio tracks, sound effects, vector images, and more. All of this can be easily accessed with their new Storyblocks Adobe Premiere plugin. Great way to save you time and have all of those pre-mentioned features available to you within your editing software. I know I myself use templates in a ton of my work. They can give you a professional head start on a project in a fraction of the time it would have taken you starting from scratch. If you guys are interested, click the link at the top of my description to learn more. So number one, we're going to talk about music visualizers. I think as opposed to a music video, these are a lot easier to create. You can still charge a good sum to make this without having to put in all the hours to create a music video. And there's so many tools out there that can save you so much time. So let's talk about some of them. Number one is AI. Now I just made my last upload about this, an amazing tool for creating different types of visuals, different types of animations in seconds, super game changing. If you haven't seen that video, check it out. There's a ton of other AI tools as well that can save you time, that can help you create different images, different video animations, different things that again, would have taken you hours to complete in the past. You can now do at the click of a button. In terms of other music visualizers that are simple to create, I talked about my Pixel music video tutorial which got a lot of love. Thank you guys for that. That's a pretty simple thing you can do by following along with some templates, by still putting in your own creative design and by creating a seamless little loop pixel animation that fits the song for your client. I've also talked about animating pictures. So if you're just given some picture, you can throw it into After Effects, do some work with the puppet tool, do some work with masking and bring some life into the image to make a nice easy visualizer. There's also 3D animation and my five easy ways to create music videos with Blender. I talked about adding audio reacting to any object in Blender so that it can bend and morph and deform to the beat of your song. Very easy to do and a nice little touch for creating music visualizers. You also have things like collage editing. This is another thing you can do with the rotoscoping tool in After Effects. Instead of having to edit out entire videos, you guys can just rotoscope out some footage that you like. You guys can place it all into one composition and you can create this new sort of video collage. Those are all great ways to make music visualizers that don't take that much time as opposed to crafting a full music video. So number two is short form content and that means creating TikToks, creating YouTube shorts, creating Instagram reels. This has become a huge part of content over the past few years. Let me hop into Adobe Premiere and just show you how simple it is to put one of these together. All you have to do is go to file, new sequence and create a composition by going to settings here and changing this frame size. So for your shorts, you just need to flip the horizontal and vertical. If you're in a 1920 by 1080, that's usually my default. So you can make it 1080 by 1920 and we'll name this short and click OK. Now you see you have this nice vertical format. You guys can put a marker around the one minute mark so you know how long you need to make it, drop in your footage, scale it to size. The great thing about Adobe Premiere is you now have this text box here and you can create subtitles. So once you place your footage, click, you go to your text and you click transcribe sequence. It's gonna process the audio and turn it into text, which you can then edit. So you see how fast and easy it is to create a video like this with quick interactive captions. We can click this button to actually create the captions and then we can just click create. And there you go, just in a couple of clicks, you now have subtitles with your shorts, something that people would pay a good amount of dollars just to actually have your subtitles and your captions in. You can do that at the click of a button. There's so many YouTubers, there's so many Twitch streamers, there's so many creators out there that need a content factory coming out quick. This is so simple to do. You can mass email a bunch of your favorite creators, create a little portfolio, tell them that your services include creating shorts, uploading to their YouTube channel, things like that. Now for a side bonus tip here, if you guys are maybe making gaming videos or you want your subtitles to pop a bit more, you guys can click and create a new text subtitle layer. And then we'll just click and drag this out for the length of our, for the length of our captions. We'll drag this up. You guys can click the C key in Premiere and just make cuts where all of these caption cuts are. You can click from the text to the essential graphics panel here. 
and you can just copy and paste the text bar. So we'll click control C and we'll paste it into our text. Then we can go to our effect controls and set up the alignment like how we would normally. And what we're doing here is we're actually pasting it from the caption layer to the text layer so that we can add animations and customize it further because for these caption layers, you can't really animate them, make them pop, but for the text layers, you can. You can change your font and you can save this as a style and then we'll add a simple little animation. So we'll just go up to our effect controls again. We'll go to our go to our vector motion and just keyframe both the position and the scale. We'll move forward a couple of frames and we'll just make the scale pop up, move forward a couple of frames and make the scale reset. And then just adjust the keyframes to your liking. You can right click on them and ease them. And there you go, nice and easy little animation. Repeat the process by copy and pasting, easy as that. So great for creating gaming videos where you wanna add a bit more stylistic approach to it. Again, a great option for making some side money in a fast amount of time because these are only one minute. All right, and then number three, we're gonna talk about fast music video edits. So there are a lot of times where I've spent hours upon hours on a music video, but there's also a lot of times where I've spent a couple of hours on a music video and still made a good amount of money. Let's talk about some of these specific types of videos you can make that don't require too much legwork. So the first thing you should know how to do is editing to make clean cuts, to color correct your footage so that it looks nice and cinematic. If you can have a nice cinematic video with some easy clean cuts, maybe some simple transitions, that's all you really need for a lot of music videos. Not everything has to be oversaturated. Not everything requires tons of 3D and thought and processing and experimentation to go into it. A lot of clients out there just want some nice footage with a nice easy edit. So keep that in mind. Maybe you can create some different tier services on your website, like an easy edit, an edit with more effects or things going on, and then a complicated advanced one with 3D things or experimental, whatever. So speaking of saving your time, we can talk about presets and templates, a great thing that you should invest in, you should save up, you should have at the ready so that you can save yourself time when you're sitting there, when you just need a quick transition, a flash transition, or a template that can make something professional in a short amount of time. I recommend my Speed Demon 2 effects pack or any other effects pack on my website. We have a bunch of presets like my animation extension for After Effects. I've been using that a lot to create quick music videos. You just click the animations that you want, drag them in. There you go, music video in seconds. So investing in something like a preset or a template can save you a ton of time and it can make you a lot of money if you use them wisely. So let's look at some Lyrical Lemonade videos here because I think Cole Bennett is a master of varying his content and knowing when to do something a certain way. He's made everything from full on, high production, high budget videos with 3D, VFX, things like that all the way down to just quick run and gun iPhone videos and knowing when to vary your style to achieve the look that the project needs. Not every video needs to be a grand production. You can make it fun, you can make it simple, like this Baby Sean Emperor of the Universe video. Think of a simple yet interesting scene to match the vibe of the song. Add in some simple things that can make it look a bit better, like a fisheye lens, like VHS, like a simple cool concept or some nice clean graphics. And you can create a really nice video in a quick amount of time and still get paid handsomely for that. Look at this 3D one take yeet music video. The entire music video for this, he's just sit, he's just standing in front of a green screen and he performs the song all in one take. They took that green screen footage and they placed them in a 3D environment. So you're still having fun, you're still being creative with the concept, but it's not taking you as much time as it would to cut every single thing up, do this and that. You can still have fun with the creative process, create a cool little 3D environment without losing tons of nights of sleep. So I think I'm gonna make a tutorial next on how to do something like, a, like that, a 3D one take or just a 3D environment music video with green screen. If you wanna see that, comment down below. I think it could be cool and again, this is all about saving you time and making you money. I think that's a great option. So that's about it guys, quick and easy, just like these methods, write them down, remember them. I think they can help you guys a lot, uh, especially if you're a hobbyist who's interested in maybe taking it to the next level. This is a great way to hone your skills, make a bit of side cash, get into the game, and then start figuring out what you wanna do from there. As always guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for supporting, and I'll see you guys in the next one.